good morning students hope you are doing well and studying sincerely in the last video we had revised the chapter food and digestion today we are going to discuss long answers of this chapter so let us start so let us start with the discussion for long answers the first question is what happens to the food in the mouth this is our first question while answering this question following points should be there in the answer in the mouth our teeth bite and chew the food and break it into small pieces second point as we chew the saliva in our mouth mixes with the food third point saliva is a digestive liquid secreted by salivary glands last point saliva changes the insoluble starch into a soluble sugar so when food enters our mouth our mouth what does it do our teeth bite it and chew the food and break it into small pieces what happens afterward the saliva is which is secreted by salivary glands get mixes in this food and this changes the insoluble starch into soluble sugar so that's the answer to the first question what happens to the food in the mouth let us see next question next question reads what is the function of the small intestine now we all know small intestine we had studied already in the earlier video let us see the points that should be there in the answer so first point is inside the walls of the small intestine produce a juice that mixes with the food the liver and pancreas also pour their juices into small intestine these juices help to completely digest the food the blood vessels present in the walls of the small intestine absorb the digested food and carry it to all the parts of the body so what happens in the small intestine what is function of small intestine the walls of the small intestine produce juices that mixes with the food also there are other glands like liver and pancreas that also secrete some juice and then pour it into small intestine these juices help to completely digest the food then the blood vessels that are present in the walls of the small intestine absorb this digested food and carry it to all the parts of the body so that's the answer to the second question what is the function of the small intestine let us see the next question next question reads what happens to our food when it enters the stomach till it reaches large intestine so answer to this question is from the mouth the food passes through the food pipe into the stomach the food is churned here the digestive juices in the stomach break down the proteins into simpler form from the stomach the food is further pushed into a long coiled tube called small intestine the inside walls of the small intestine produce a juice that mixes with the food the liver and pancreas also pour their juices into small intestine and this juices help to completely digest the food so this answer is uh, the longest that you will find in this lesson but still all the points should be there because the question is like that it has, they have asked us to uh, answer what happens to our food when it enters the stomach till it reaches large intestine so the process is also long so we have to uh, state all the points you have to answer all the points so it starts with the mouth from mouth food passes through food pipe into the stomach then in stomach food is churned then digestive juices in stomach break down the proteins into simpler form then comes the small intestine some points from small intestine are you will find it here also so those points are uh, are to be mentioned here also from the stomach the food is further pushed into a long coil tube called small intestine the inside walls of small intestine produce a juice that mixes with the food okay so small intestine produce certain juices also there are other glands like liver and pancreas they also pour their juice and they help to completely digest the food so this point should be there in if this question is asked let us see next question what is preservation 
so we have to answer this question preservation so this is uh, first you have to state the point food is a valuable and if not preserved it may begin to spoil the process of treating food in a way that preserves its value for a long time is called preservation so this should be mentioned it is very important point and last point should be cooked and uncooked food can be preserved in different ways so only three points should be mentioned in this question first food is valuable and if not preserved it may begin to spoil second the process of treating food in a way that preserve its value for a long time is called preservation and last point cooked and uncooked food can be preserved in different ways so that's the answer to your uh, to this question what is preservation now comes the last question which is how do we preserve food so we can preserve food in one of the following ways first is refrigeration second is boiling third is scanning fourth is pickling fifth is gelling and sixth is drying so these are the six different ways by which we can preserve food i will repeat we can preserve food in one of the following ways first is refrigeration second is boiling third is scanning fourth is pickling fifth is gelling and sixth is drying so that is this is answer to our last question that is how do we preserve food so that was all for today if you have any doubts regarding long answers of this lesson please feel free to ask me next time we meet we will be starting with a new lesson until then take care bye bye